Um. Okay. I died from summoning. The I thought the person you summoned it on died. I didn't even notice I had the mood lit. Oh, that is unfortunate. Maybe we can plead for zero. Um, I I had no idea that's how it worked. There's something satisfying about taking an old building, renovating it, and decorating the inside with fresh new paint and getting a whole bunch of new items. So what I've decided to do in the 100 Baby Challenge is we're going to renovate this old, dirty, nasty hotel. And the story is that the ghosts of all of the mothers, when they finally pass away, will come here and all of our children as well. This is where we're going to store the urns for all of the 100 babies and for all of the matriarchs. So the first matriarch, Zero, is going to stay in this master suite over here. And she actually did the kitchen already. I downloaded some retail stores off of the gallery, so I was limited in what decorations and what items I could choose for this kitchen area. But this is the items that I came up with. So I'm pretty happy with the way that this has turned out. And that's going to be her challenge for this time. Because if you remember last time, we had a challenge to complete a room. And we weren't really renovating anything at the time. So I'm taking that for the first challenge on Sunday. And I basically spent all of her simoleons cleaning this place out and buying things from the shop because I charged her for everything. I basically took this entire room and emptied it out and didn't give her credit for anything that she sold. So she had to buy all of these from scratch. And if you look, the room price is somewhere around 19,306. But we also had to pay money in order to clean out the old one. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the entire room and seeing how much it sells for. That's 8,841 simoleons to clean out the room. And that will make everything empty, except for these trash piles. For some reason, these trash piles do not go away. So I just have to move them into a different room whenever a room is cleaned out. And we'll have to visit this lot sometime and actually clean up the trash. So after you sell a room, I go to the shop in Magnolia Promenade and there are four shops there that I download from the gallery and I pick whatever sh stuff is in the shops only the items that are in the shops and I make whatever I can out of that room now unfortunately if I don't get something like a bed or something that's a necessity I really can't do that room and call it complete, but I could probably furnish it a little bit. This time I had to actually complete a room, so I chose the kitchen because there were a lot of kitchen items, as you can see, and that was an easy win. This is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we're completing quests and Lilith is becoming neat, okay. We also have a competition with the other NPC family that is also doing the 100 baby challenge. The Munch family still has six children. They haven't aged up enough to move out of the house, but what we're going to do is we're going to allow them to have babies on their own. And if they get to 100 babies before the Sparks family does, then they will be the winners. So we're just gonna practice standing because I think that Una can learn how to stand if this chair is out like that. If you don't have a chair that's available, she cannot learn how to stand, which is super annoying. But hopefully she'll get that milestone. Oh, why did we come down here? Okay, because she had a realization that she's neat. And unfortunately, I had to get rid of the stairs because Zero kept going down the stairs with the infants and I don't want her to do that. I want her to stay up here. So I put in the ladders. Hopefully that will keep her upstairs with the infants and we'll just have to teleport them downstairs if we need them downstairs. What are you doing? Okay, did you even practice standing with her? I don't think you did. Well, we need to feed them anyway. Let's feed them first. Okay, is there room in here to practice standing? There is. Can you go stand and go pull up on that chair? 
I don't think that she will, though, because she's in a different room. That's kind of annoying. Let's put her over here. She's getting tired, so I want to try and do this before she has to go to sleep. Okay, you're just not getting it, are you? Maybe. Oh, yes. Okay, she actually is going to get it. When they get that reaching a milestone and a picture of something they can pull to stand on, that's when they are going to get the milestone. But then she needs to go to bed because you are so, so tired. No, don't, don't climb down the ladder. No. Okay, that's one downside to the ladders is when she start climbing down, you can't get back up unless you go all the way down and go back up. Okay, she has pincer grasp. She can stand, but she can't creep or crawl. I don't think we're going to require crawling or creeping for this, just standing, because they have to walk as a toddler. And you can learn to walk before you learn to crawl. I know my son did. And then also learn to babble. So it is technically going to be Una's birthday. But unfortunately, before we can actually give her a birthday, we are going to have to buy some toddler stuff because we don't have any toddler stuff okay yes you need a bath we'll give you a bath maybe we'll start working on some of the milestones for paris but i'm not sure i think we need to spend the rest of today trying to earn some money and as soon as you're done with this bath you are going to pee your pants aren't you or pee your diaper i should say because that's what they all do Every infant I ever knew always, as soon as you change their diaper or give them a bath, pees their pants. Okay, yes, you did. Let's go change you now. All right, we'll put you on the little play mat and then we're going to go get something to eat. And we probably also need some more coffee. Oh, are you hungry again? All right, I'm sorry. I forgot to feed you. Okay, we got a little bit of royalties. All right, I forgot that we can convert these. So we'll convert this one to a toddler bed and put Paris in here. All right, we're baking a cake for Una. Okay, happy birthday, Una. Blow out the candles. Our first infant is going to be a toddler and she's gonna be able to take care of herself so much better. And she got a bonus top-notch infant. And she got one in the thinking skill and one in the movement skill, which is probably not going to be a whole lot of bonus. So we're going to have a wild toddler. Oh, and that's the cutest little doggy outfit for pajamas. All right, you're going to go back upstairs, though. All right, the first thing you need to do is watch. I know Una still needs a bath, but unfortunately, we're a little tired right now, so we need to drink some coffee. How are you doing, Paris? Okay, I think you need to eat as well. We'll work on that next. We really should start looking for another baby daddy and get pregnant again, but I don't know how long it's going to take to get Paris to where she can be a toddler, and I don't want any more infants at the same time uh, well, I don't want three infants, and she's most likely going to have twins. So we need to be careful that all of the infants are aged up before we have the next set. Okay, let's change your diaper first and then put you to sleep. We still need to give Una a bath, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think that I can make it right now because I need to work on actually earning some money. All right, Una reached thinking level three. We are going to go to thinking level five because we have to get everything to level five. And oops, I aged her up to a toddler and, oh no, I do have a toddler potty. Okay, that's good. I was about to say, I forgot to buy a toddler potty first, but no, we already had one. No, don't go and play in the toilet. She needs to go to the bathroom and Una was going to go play in the toilet. So she was blocking me from using the potty. Okay, we'll give Una a bath, but no, wait a second. If I ask from the adult's perspective, I really don't want to be strict. So we'll have Una ask for a bath and then Zero will oblige because I just don't like it when they're strict. And I play from the perspective of since this family dynamics is not really decided by some predetermined story, whatever pops up is what I have to accept. 
It's already almost 9 p.m. and the only thing that we've done today is aged up Una. Okay, after you give her a bath, you're going to have to go and... Well, she needs potty training too. That's so annoying. I love independent toddlers that don't need potty training, but... Unfortunately, we have to ask for potty training. All right, after you're done with the potty training, Zero, I need you to go hack something. Unfortunately, Paris will probably be up and hungry by then. It takes forever to potty train. Oh, we haven't finished our video game. I wonder how far along we are. Probably not very far. Let's go hack the supercomputer, because that's some guaranteed money, maybe. I wonder if I can just leave her. I think I can, because I, I, I need to get this done before midnight. Yeah, if you sit them on the potty and get them started... Oh, wow, she's actually already going. Normally, it takes a lot longer than that. All right, I'm almost done. I'm going to count it anyway, even though it's about 10 or 15 minutes past midnight. No, it broke, and I didn't get anything. No. Repair the computer. Okay, we get to spin the winning wheel with 45 simoleons. How much are we going to get? So we got 69% and that will be another 31 simoleons. Thank you very much. We have a total of 76 simoleons, which is nothing. And our next task is to watch a movie in San Sequoia. Well, that'll be easy. So now Una goes to sleep and we get Paris up, change her diaper, feed her, and then maybe we can get her to roll over. Oh, she's reaching a milestone? What milestone is this? Okay, now she can babble. That's nice. Now change her diaper. She has all of the necessary communication milestones. She needs to get the gross motor ones. And I think fine motor, she needs pincer grasp because she has to sit in order to get that one. All right, we can still do tummy time in this corner. Come on, Paris. I'm going to need you to roll over. Okay, she rolled over to her back. Rest time already? Okay, I guess you gotta go to sleep again. Okay, we are nowhere near fe being finished with that video game. And that stinks. Why does everything keep breaking? I'm not clumsy. Okay, I got 740 simoleons from a hack. Okay, Una, you really need to go to the potty. And we have bills. That's way too much. Oh, so close. 96%. Come on. No, don't, don't, no popcorn. I might have to move that popcorn maker back downstairs. Oh, good. My payday came in. That should help with the bills. Okay. Una reached thinking level five. That takes care of one skill. Let's grab the potty and a play mat and go to San Sequoia because it's six o'clock. We really need to get that done. Well, I went to the library in San Sequoia and guess what? There is already a play mat and a toddler potty here. The only thing I really needed to bring was the pet bowl. So we will go ahead and do that. And we're gonna put Paris down because we don't really want to have her come with us. Unfortunately, I don't think Evans can go see the movie with us. So we'll have to stay in the same area. No, Una, don't ask a question. You're gonna ask to read a book, aren't you? Yes, I know you like to read books, but unfortunately, you're going to have to sit here and hunt for an egg and then Paris is going to go here as well and then what I can do is I can actually lock this little gate so that no one else can get into it because I'm on a community lot so I have to use a mod but I don't want anybody else to help the toddlers <laughs> or the infant so I'm going to go watch a movie and I have them all at full or mostly full Okay, I can do the watch movie with, but as you can see, it doesn't give me the option to bring the toddler or the infant. I mean, I would think that you maybe could bring a toddler, probably not an infant. So yeah, we're just going to watch a movie by ourselves then. And I have no idea how long that is going to take, but we'll go with it. You in here will just have to be happy that you... <gasps> she rolled over. You did. Paris rolled over to her tummy. Now she can do tummy time. Yay! 
Okay, let's not talk with her. Let's just play with a toy. I think she can already babble, so I don't think we need that one. No, we do need some fine motor, but she needs to learn to sit up. I think, yeah, creeping is going to be next, but I really don't care about creeping. I want sit up. Let's do tummy time. I don't think they can get sitting up by themselves. Stealing? Did you get caught stealing? What were you trying? You're a klepto. I did. I forgot about that. She got caught trying to swipe something. I did not tell her to steal something. Okay, that's helping your creativity skill. I mean, you don't have any way to get attention other than talking to Una or pa sorry, talking to Paris. But Paris is probably going to go to sleep. Let's see. Maybe we can do a little bit of talking. Oh, and she needs to go to sleep now. Oh, well, well, we'll talk a little bit. Hopefully she can get some attention. I don't know. if Yeah, okay. It counts as social. So toddlers don't have social. They have attention. And it used to be that they had to get attention from a caregiver. And it wouldn't work when they talked amongst each other. I'm glad that that is working again. Okay, yes, I know you're fussing. Let's go to sleep. Like, sorry, she has to go to sleep now. Maybe we should, uh, I don't think we can go potty though. Okay, we can't go potty. We don't have the skill yet. Oh well. Oh, you can hunt for eggs and find eggs. Okay, I'm going to allow that as a toddler basically having income for the family is that she can hunt for stuff and then we can sell it. Although we probably should technically have a selling table. I'm not sure. Not sure if I'm going to require a selling table or not. It didn't tell me anything about the movie, so I guess it was okay. Action field jitters from liking movie. Okay, she had so much fun that her adrenaline is still racing. But she's a little bit stressed from something else. All right, let's go home. Uh, why are you asleep? You need potty help. Okay, I think I got to her before she went in her diaper, so I don't think she will need a diaper change. Okay, you have reached potty level two, so you no longer need my help. And we need to give bubblegum a bath because you're covered in fleas. Okay, so Paris learned how to creep, but that's not necessarily a good thing because she doesn't need to learn to crawl, so we don't care if she can creep or not. What are you doing? I said to give the dog a bath. Yeah, I don't have a bath downstairs, so unfortunately... Okay, you're going to pick her up through the fence? Okay. Well, I unfortunately have to teleport the dog upstairs for the bath. I just completely forgot about that when I was setting up the stairs, or actually the ladder instead of the stairs. I completely forgot about the dog. Okay, so we can spin the winning wheel now, and we get 46% for 2741 which gives us another 1,261 simoleons for a total of 4,002 simoleons. And our next quest is to work an eight-hour shift tending a bar at a community lot. Right. So that's going to be fun because I have to make sure that my littles are full of energy and full bellies because I don't want to be constantly stopping in order to feed them. Okay, he's clean. Can you stop doing that now? All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook a cake because that way I can leave it out for Una in case she needs something. And then hopefully Paris won't get too hungry too often. Why did you not change her diaper? Oh, infants are so glitched. She was in the bathroom for some reason. I don't know what she was doing in the bathroom, but you did not change her diaper like I asked. It's like I have to actually watch you do it in order to make sure that you do it. For some reason, downloading enhancement data just takes a lot of durability and charge out of the servo. So annoying. Well, this is one of my builds I did for the James Turner Random Build Challenge. I had to download a shell off of the gallery, and this is a 20 by 15 lot, I believe. And unfortunately, the lot on the gallery it was like 50 by 40 so I allowed myself to finish the exterior walls because it was a complete building and I, it just didn't fit so I worked with what I had and I didn't allow myself to change the inside walls except for I could change them to spandrels 
or I couldn't actually add any new walls, but I did make a pool up here in an existing room. So that did not create new walls. And the owners liked fishing and I think working out, yeah, exercising, so fitness and fishing. And I'm getting actually some money from tending bar. So 10 a.m. is my start time. I'm gonna try and keep up with all of the needs by locking my kids in this room over here because they're not allowed to be attended to by anybody else. So I can't get the infant to teleport in here. Okay, there we go. So she's just gonna go night night. The only thing is that I'm going to have to feed her probably because she, her hunger just goes down so quickly. I'll try waiting for a, a four hour break. So I'll work from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and then see if we can give her a feeding and then work, uh, work another four hour shift because I should get a, a break after four hours. Oh, go to work. Crap. I forgot. I have a job. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take a sick day or we'll try the sick day first. Hopefully, I maybe I can do that while tending bar. Probably not. I'm probably going to have to hang up, aren't I? Okay, let's just hurry up and call in sick because now my boss is calling. I know this is Riki Haas, but that's not who's calling. It's my boss. Yeah, yeah, and it, and it only gives me okay. Okay, I'm not missing work. Yeah, it still says late to work. Okay, I have to actually request to take off before the work shift comes up. So yeah, I'm going to miss this day's worth of work of pay. I'm going to have to remember that better in the future. I know this is actually a little bit annoying for this particular challenge to, send, to sit here and tend a bar while I actually have to watch out for all of my other household members. But I think in the future, we should probably set a requirement for how much money you have to make in order to complete the challenge. Because otherwise, this seems a little bit too easy. All right, Miss Hates being held, is being fed, and I will maybe get back to work at 3 p.m. So that means 7 p.m. I'll be done. Oh, she's reaching a milestone. Are you going to sit up? Because if you're going to sit up, I didn't know that they could actually get those milestones on their own, but it looks like they can. Awesome. Okay, you're hungry. Where's your bowl? I thought I put your bowl down. I guess I didn't. Whoops, I forgot to put your bowl down. Go eat your food now. Okay, now it says taking a sick day, but unfortunately, I think that's for tomorrow because it's already 4 p.m. Wednesday is not a work day. Oh, well, at least I don't waste a vacation day. Okay, why is nobody buying any drinks? Maybe Lilith should play guitar. I'm going to allow her to do something to maybe earn some money since we're here for just another hour or so. Actually, not even an hour, just a few minutes. So she'll gain the guitar skill, but she won't get any money from it. All right, we're successful. Let's go home after we negotiate a bonus with our boss to hopefully get some sort of performance. Because we need to reach the top of this career. All right, that was a big bonus. Okay, we're going to practice standing with Paris, and that's the last one she needs to get for gross motor. So maybe we should get pregnant, because then we just need the pincer grass from the fine motor, and we will be all set to age her up too. She already knows how to babble. Okay, let's just keep doing it until you get it. We probably could also feed you something in the high chair, but I don't even think you're hungry yet. Oh, you are a little hungry. Let's feed you something in the high chair then if you don't get the milestone. No, don't do a what's that. Let's feed you something. Okay, you're sensitive, so you're not cautious. Hopefully she'll learn the pincer grass pretty quick. Okay, she doesn't like the smashed lemon. Let's try pumpkin puree. I just go down the list until I find one that they like and that they'll keep eating. Okay, we're going to try one more time. Can you please stand up? Okay, she actually wanted more food for some reason. I thought that she'd just want a story or to be talked to, but nope. Okay, let's put you down. You don't like it anyway. All right, it's after midnight. Let's spin the winning wheel. And we get 98%. That's really good. We earned 6,500 simoleons for a total of 12,133 simoleons. So yeah, sometimes it's easy to get back up to 
earn more simoleons and other times I have to be careful because okay I'm still taking a sick day today even though I don't work so I have to watch that all right and Paris you are are full and we're gonna give you a full night's sleep so hopefully tomorrow we can learn how to stand and we need pincer grasp so I think it might be a good idea to start looking at getting pregnant again because that'll give Paris a little bit of time all right, and today's quest is to prank Vlad for the current master vampire. I think Vlad is still alive because we did have a whole bunch of vampires die at the very beginning of this series, but I think Vlad was not one of them. We'll have to go check his house and see if he's still there. Okay, and Una loves books. So that's her three quirks discovered. Yeah, I think I was wrong. Vlad has actually passed away. So I set up a new Grandmaster Vampire in his house and we're gonna go pay them a visit. Well, apparently it's cold in Forgotten Hollow. Okay, so Maria is the new Master Vampire or Grandmaster Vampire. So I guess we need to prank her. I hope she likes mischief. Oh, that was hard. Yeah, the air horn is a good one. Um, let's see. What else can we do? Oh, she did the air horn again, but that was not my choice. Okay, if we summon an urban myth, that can supposedly kill someone? Oh, no. <laughs> she thinks that's funny. Okay. Um... Okay, I died from summoning. The I thought the person you summoned it on died. I didn't even notice I had the mood lit. Oh, that is unfortunate. Maybe we can plead for zero. Um, I, I had no idea that's how it worked. Okay, I think Sabaria is a little bit upset for whatever reason. I don't have a death flower, so yeah, this sometimes actually works more often than not. No, don't see what's happening. Just plead. Come on. Um, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a short, short 100 baby challenge. We have two heirs, though, and by the rules, the next one will be Paris. So, yeah, fortunately, I have Lilith in my household, so I guess she could take care of the babies until they're old enough to take over. <laughs> I, uh, I honestly did not know that was the way it happened. I thought the person you played the prank god would die, but no, it makes more sense that the person playing the prank would die, because in The Sims, you can't be the cause of the death. Well, <laughs> that was fun. I'm gonna say that we probably failed the quest, because <laughs> we, didn't, we, we didn't prank the Master Vampire, we pranked ourselves, so yeah. We'll gather all the stuff and go home. Okay, so, oh, Lilith must have swiped something. What did you swipe? S but anyway, so Lilith is going to have to be our earner here. And since she is a kleptomaniac, we are going to use that as a trait to earn money. Uh, it's a good thing I just did a repair on her, though, because she doesn't have the ability to repair herself. So, I wonder what happens if she can't repair herself. That's going to be a pain. Well, let's go back home. Well, that was an epic fail. So, yeah, since Zero Sparks built Lilith, I'm going to say that she is still taking care of the kids, so these two kids still count. But Lilith, of course, even though she's the new matriarch, cannot have kids so what we're going to do is first tell the dog to quit playing in puddles and we're going to quickly as possible get una up to teenager because i don't know if lilith will be able to repair herself that is going to be a problem so we did fail today's quest we're going to lose most of our money 
So what I did is I went ahead and I bought some things. Uh, some of these things had already been bought before I left. So we already had the slide, the tent, and um, the new woohoo spot, which was the hot tub. Won't be needing that anymore. Uh, then we have the two beds. So I bought the two beds because the girls will need them when they get older. And we're just going to keep everybody upstairs for a bedroom for now because we're going to be moving out of this house once we get the new matriarch up to an adult. So the new matriarch is going to be Paris. She is the youngest. So by the rules, once she reaches a young adult, she must earn the money in order to move out. And then she can start having kids. But she is an infant. So we still need to get Una up to all of her skills and all of her goals met because oh I can't bathe the kids but but I think I can clean up oh she got pincer grasp good so all Paris needs to do now is stand up um yeah we need I think we can do that with the couch we'll try it why can't I practice standing there we go okay I finally found it all right so you just keep talking and talking and talking. And I'm sorry, Bubblegum, but we can't give you a bath. I think we can brush her, though, and it works just as well. Oh, you are still hungry. Okay, well, we're going to bottle feed you then. Okay, she's level three. So now we get to keep on talking. I think I can get her up to child pretty quickly. All right, as quickly as possible, we need to get our robotics skill up. Uh, maybe at level five we can start repairing ourselves. I, I think I have to actually get that upgrade though, but I don't know how to get the upgrade without making my durability go down so fast. Okay, Paris is going to reach her milestone. That's why I put this little couch out here. Because I took away the desk and the chair since it's no longer needed. And now she can pull to stand on the couch. And why does it take so long? I mean, the sparkly thing is nice, but come on, just get up there, pull to stand. There she goes. Okay, so Paris, it is now your birthday. Blow out the candles, Paris. Yeah, spit all over the cake. Um, yeah, that's why I have my kids blow out the candles on one piece of cake. Oh, and she got the top notch infant as well. And she is going to be silly. Oh, love the afro. Why did the candles not disappear until just now? Okay. Okay, she got movement 73% complete. And then thinking is 11% complete. That doesn't seem to be too much of a benefit. But oh well. Are you tired or anything? No, I guess we'll just have you watch Lilith. And Lilith, you need to work on your robotics. I don't know why their durability goes down so fast. It's like they need a tune-up every single day. Okay, Lilith can enhance herself. I think this is the last one that she needs. She needs a computer chip. Okay, stop that. Let's make a computer chip. I'm pretty sure I've enhanced her once already. And at level three enhancement, she can self-repair or self-tune-up. And I don't know if I can call someone as an emergency service repair if I'm the one who's the robot. Okay, first priority is to self-enhance because my durability is getting kind of low. And I have no more adults in this house. That would be really bad if I lose Lilith because it's basically game over unless I cheat and add someone to my household. Even if I did, well, toddlers can mostly take care of themselves. There are a few things that they cannot do, and I don't need to keep their hygiene up. They just need to eat something. Okay, this is going kind of quick. I might actually make it before her durability runs too low. Oh, by the way, I have to spin the losing wheel. Forgot about that. Uh-huh. 5,308 simoleons. Well, the losing wheel says I lose 73%, which is 3,875. Ouch. Okay, and today's quest is visit an onsen. You must shower before you get in and avoid any embarrassment moodlets. Right. I don't think we will be doing that one. 
Lilith is a robot. She cannot get in the water. So, I think we are going to lose this day's challenge as well. Okay, enhancement level 3, which means I can self-repair. And she's she's already on the fritz from low durability, and it's only halfway down. I, I don't think that this is such a... It's so stupid. Robots should be able to be a little bit more durable than that. Oh my goodness, this repair session is going to take for... A, okay, at least it's going up and not going down. Okay, and Una is going to continue talking to the stuffed animal. And I think that I can get her to level 5 pretty quickly. Because she's going to get communication. Movement is almost there anyway. Just a couple more times down the slide and that'll do it. Imagination goes up super fast with this tent. And Potty, yeah, it goes pretty slow, but she's already 71% of the way there. Each time she talks to the stuffed animal, she gets 5%. Because right now she's very sad. So she's probably getting a negative bonus for that. All right. And Lilith is about halfway repaired. I'm just going to go ahead and wake her up so that we can do potty together. It's nice that I don't have to wait for the repair cycle to complete. Oh, and now Paris loves being carried. Even though she hated it as an infant. Their quirks for their toddlerhood and their infanthood can be completely different, which is just dumb. I'm not going to bother giving Una a bath, um, of course, because I can't give her a bath. I could clean her up a little bit, but I don't want to bother doing it because it won't improve her mood. She's only a little bit angry from being grungy, but she's very sad. Sad plus five because she witnessed a death of a loved one. Shouldn't that say parent? Okay. All right. We're already level three with the imagination. And then we just got to go potty a bunch of times and raise our movement skill. I think that Uno will probably get to childhood today. And then we just need to start working with Paris. Um, why can't you go in there? Is it because the dog is trying to go in there? Yeah. I'm sorry. Bubblegum. Oh, because she's in there. You should be able to get in there unless the slide is in the way. Yeah, the slide is in the way. Okay, I gotta fix this. There we go. All right, now you go to sleep. And then Una can continue her level four of imagination. And Lilith is making a salad for the girls. Do you get any skills for self-repairing? Oh yes, it raises your robotics skill. Okay, so that's the new way to raise robotics because she needs to do it anyway. Okay, she got level five in imagination already. I knew that was gonna be easy. Okay, now just go potty. Oh, so you finished repairing yourself. Well, I think you're supposed to let something get to be dirty, so we're not gonna do that, please. She actually has the fabulously filthy aspiration. I'm not sure if we're going to do that, but maybe we'll try. Okay, all of her skills are maxed and we have movement level 4, 75% complete. So she just needs to go down the slide a couple times. And she loves sounds, loves books, and is a wanderer. So she has all of her quirks discovered. That's another rule that I try to follow because if you don't discover the quirks, then they don't really matter. All right, don't get tired on me. You've only got 9% left to go. And pretty much that did it because she only slid down the slide once and that got her almost 9% of a level. And she has maxed the movement skill. Okay, you don't need to do any of this anymore. Yep, and she's a little singer. I knew she was going to be. Whenever they constantly try to autonomously do an action like ask to read book or sing a song, that means that's their quirk and they're trying to get it out. Okay, so loves being carried, little singer. Let's both get something to eat and then maybe we can age Una up and she can take her own bath. <laughs> Infants are much more difficult than toddlers. Toddlers can pretty much take care of themselves and she was an infant for probably about a week before she got all of her milestones and she was a toddler for like one day. Okay, and then Paris still needs potty help. Well, maybe you'll go babble a little bit and then go to bed. Happy birthday, Una. Now you can take a bath all by yourself. 
Sorry, the robot can't give you a bath. Okay, and Una is going to be a music lover, as well as a creative genius. I haven't done that aspiration yet, actually. So we need to play pretend in a treehouse, even though I do not have a treehouse. Achieve level three mental skill, stargaze, sleep in a treehouse for six hours, achieve level six creativity skill, and achieve level five mental skill. All right, so since we're going to fail today's quest, we should probably buy the treehouse because you can't play in a treehouse anywhere else. I don't think you can see them in the world on a community lot, so we're going to have to get a treehouse. $1,200, okay, but the only problem is it's enormous. I don't know that we can build one on this lot. I might have to take down the fence somewhere. They just don't have enough room. Oh, and look what Lilith stole. A winged imp gargoyle. Well, maybe we'll just keep it around for a little while. Because if I sell it now, I'm going to lose part of the money from it anyway. So we need to spin the losing wheel. And we got 87%, which means we lost 549 simoleons. And we are left with 82 simoleons. Now there is school tomorrow, but she's going to wake up super early. I hate it when they do that, but that's just what happens. Now the quest for tomorrow is to befriend a flock of birds and order a tree from Simazon. We don't have a garden, so that's really not going to help us too much, but at least it's something that we can actually do. I'm going to have you come inside before you repair yourself because I don't want it to start raining. I wish the kids could give a dog a bath, but no. Oh, he gave me a present. I wonder what it is. Okay, Una has neutral confidence, and it's probably because she's very sad. What? You only finished your homework to 75%? But I can't do it. It says that you finished it. Okay. Okay, she's only sad for four more hours, so maybe I can get her out of that mood before she goes to school. Okay, today is love day, so she needs to give flowers to someone. I see Lilith is over the death of Sparks, or Zero Sparks. Oh, Uno got over it too. Good. Where did the dog... Okay, so you can explore these little dig things. I was about to say, where did the dog dig up that present? Because I know there's no bushes around here. Okay, you can join in building the treehouse until you have to go to school at 8 a.m., which is pretty soon, it's already seven. For some reason, Lilith doesn't find this fun. Although it's handiness. I thought you liked handiness, Lilith. It's not social either, even though she's building it together with her kid. Oops, I forgot, go to school. Yeah, you're a C student. You're not even going to get into a B student. <laughs> Basically, it takes two days at least, even if you study hard. All right, let's have a little bit of fun and social and clean you up. Let me clean you up, please. Watch, it's gonna make her strict. I don't care if she's strict, though. That's the only way she can clean her. Because unfortunately, I cannot use the bathtub. No, I don't want to be cleaned up. Okay. Okay, none of that was fun. Do you have the earbuds? We should buy you the... No, we only have 82 smolians. We can't buy anything. All right, building the treehouse is not fun, but we're going to do it anyway. And then we are going to watch... Exchanging secret... Love Day cards. For Love Day, Una decided to handcraft a card for their crush complete with pipe cleaner hearts, gift glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Because who doesn't love dinosaurs? Una just needed to decide if she should let it slip that it was her who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. Let's just boldly deliver it by hand. And it seems like the crush didn't even know we existed. This was an opportunity to give it to them and they liked it. Okay, are you almost done building this tree house? All right, so it looks like this would be accessible. And we may not be able to add a slide or anything like that, but that's okay as long as we can get in the tree house. Okay, not having any fun. Let's play in a tree house. Okay, fairy tale castle. It seems that she has some kind of crown and she reached level three of the creativity skill. It doesn't seem to be that fun. I would think it would be more fun than this. Although you're really not doing it right. Just waving, that's what you're gonna do for fairy tale. It's like you're on a float and you're a queen and you're just waving to everybody, okay. All right, 
So that was a flop. Let's do something more fun. He got me some rare plants. Don't tell me there's a death flower in here. No, it's a stupid magic bean. <laughs> Those things are so ridiculous. I wish they would get rid of them. It's a common object. Why is it a rare plant? Okay, Una is actually supposed to be irresponsible. I'm not sure how I can get good grades in school and have her be irresponsible. What I'm going to do for her is drop the requirement that she gets good grades in school because we can't do her homework and we can't get an A in school. Because if we do, she's going to have too much responsibility because the way that you don't get responsibility is you get bad grades in school. We don't want to do well in school. We actually want to do poorly. And then Paris, whenever she gets done with her toddlerhood, she needs to get good grades in school because she is going to be a mediator. So basically what I do is I pick a random trait for the character values, either good or bad. It's equally possible that it'll be a bad trait versus a good trait. And that's what they need to learn during their childhood. With the irresponsible trait, that's the only one that gets you out of making A's in school. All the other kids have to make A's in school. All right, we need to go to Hennifer on Bagley. I know that the toddler is tired. Maybe we could bring the sleeping bag and have her sleep. Hopefully it's not raining. Where did they go? No. Okay. It looked like they were gone for a second. Well, this isn't going well. I probably should have come here a little bit earlier. I have about four hours left and it looks like they keep leaving. Okay, Lilith is a dog lover. She's talking to birds, but she did not get the animal enthusiast. She got dog lover, but okay. She's supposed to be dog lover anyway. Why is this going so slow? Okay, it's flock of birds is gone because it's 9 p.m. I forgot that they go away when it's dark. Come on, come back. Well, we are not going to do this quest either. Not like we have any simoleons to save anyway. We have 93 simoleons. I have no idea what we're going to do now. All right, just so today isn't a total loss, we are going to steal a gnome. You can steal these at level one mischief and they're actually worth a couple hundred bucks. Of course, I just realized that we really can't use kleptomaniac to gain money because technically you're supposed to use the aspiration first, which is fabulously filthy. So we get to use the dust bunnies. This may or may not be a good thing because sometimes they do really well, but they've been nerfed a little bit. So I have also purchased a selling table and we will be selling things manually. Okay, Una needs to sleep in a treehouse for six hours. Okay, you're not really tired, so I don't think she'll sleep. She needs to get creativity level six. So I know it goes really fast in the tent, but you need some social. Okay, so we're going to spin the losing wheel with 11 simoleons. We lose 65%. And that's going to be seven simoleons lost for a total of four simoleons. Okay, I got to keep her from cleaning. She's neat, but you can clean that up. Here is a little hack. If you have a toddler and you tell them to nap in the high chair, they will get so much energy back so quickly. Okay, today's challenge is to adopt a dog and become companions. We already have a dog but I guess we can get another one, hopefully a small one. We have bubblegum. Okay, bubblegum is male. I keep thinking that bubblegum is female for some reason. Let's try to get a female dog. Oh yeah, four simoleons. That's a problem. Maybe we could adopt a stray. See, she's full energy now. Okay, I got a Claire the bear. That's worthless. Oh, why did you get woken up? Bubblegum, did you wake her up? Oh, I got a plate right away. So this is going to be super easy because we have dust bunnies. This is just ridiculous. Oh, I got a frog too. Wow, two of them. You're not a geek or anything, are you? She's getting so many good finds. No, she's not even a collector. 
Okay, your communication level five. You can stop that now. Okay, I thought we were going to have problems, but no. Lilith happens to be a fabulously filthy person. So she's going to be able to earn money from dust bunnies. Okay, of course they bought the cheap stuff first. That's fine. That's why I put it out there. In order to sell things with the dust bunnies, I require myself to put it on the selling table and randomly allow people to select what they want to buy. And there we go. Okay, I want to stop. I don't want to sell both of them. Okay, because 32,000 simoleons. Now I have to befriend a dog. Okay, we're going to adopt a dog. Only it's only 200 simoleons. I forgot. Adopting a child is a thousand. Okay, we want an adult female, but hopefully one that is small. Are Maltese small? I think because they're like a poodle. I think Kimber is a large dog. No, I don't want large dogs. The female puppy, a Yorkshire Terrier. Okay, that might be cute. American Eskimo. No, you're a large dog, even though you're a puppy right now. Havanese. Uh, not sure. I'd have to look it up. And sometimes it's hard to tell because The Sims doesn't have small, medium, and large. So sometimes they put a medium dog as a large dog. Boxer. No, you sh you're probably large. Okay, we'll try. Loki sounds interesting. And a Yorkshire Terrier, I'm pretty sure should be a small dog. Or we could go directly with Abby, who is a Maltese I don't know. Loki is just such a great name, although I don't know why Loki would be female. I guess Loki can be female too. We'll try both of them and see what I think. Okay, why didn't you do it? Okay, supposedly someone is on their way. All right, there you are. Oh, look, it's Clement Fire. Okay, you are a small dog. And oh, so cute. Let's see what your traits are because I don't really want a dog that has a lot of bad traits. Okay, Loki is loyal, which is a good thing. I'm just going to adopt Loki. Loki is just so cute. Okay, we became good friends. Now I can feel the love and we're becoming companions. So we have a new little companion, Loki. Oh, we need to get another bed. All right, we need to sleep for a little bit, too. Why are you sleeping in there? You should not be sleeping in your bed. Get out of bed. <laughs> Go sleep in the tent. For some reason, they just gain so much more energy in the tent than they do in a bed. I almost forgot. Since I did my quest for the day, I really want to sell all of them now. Oh, Carissa is a scientist. That's interesting. And Enzo is a conspiracy theorist. It's strange how all these special roles from different packs and different zones will, or I don't know what, different worlds will show up in Delso Valley for some reason. All right, the only thing left is the plate. You have to buy the plate. And someone bought the plate. Okay, yard sale over. Now I know what you're thinking. I must be set now that I have this earn money through dust bunnies. However, that's not necessarily the case. Every time I have to supposedly get a new quest that may take all of my simoleons if I can't complete it. And I don't know how often I'm going to get those plates. I was lucky today to get two. And we have 64,000 simoleons. So when we spin the winning wheel, we get 50%, which is really not that great. But hey, it's such a large amount that it really doesn't matter. So I have 64,756 simoleons and I'm going to gain another 32,378 for a total of 97,134 simoleons. Now, since Zero Sparks died before she finished her room in the hotel, I'm going to have to finish her room and her bathroom with this money before I can move out Paris as the new mother and start having children. This should pretty much take care of that. And then Paris has to earn enough money to buy a new lot because she can't stay in this house. Once she becomes a young adult, she has to move out on her own into a new lot that she pays for. I think that we're probably going to maybe not limit it to 20,000 simoleons like I was going to before. 
I think I'll take whatever household funds we have and use that to buy a house. However, um, we're not going to be selling this house. So we get no money for whatever we leave here. We will have to choose a different lot in a different world. And I think maybe we're going to pick something that I have built before and use that as a base. So I'm going to pick a random lot that might be good, might be bad. And we're going to have to afford to buy it. And then we're going to have to renovate it slowly. I'm not going to allow myself to just bulldoze the whole thing right away. So more details coming on that for next time. For now, everyone is trying to get some sleep. Did you get, yes, you slept in a treehouse for six hours. Good. Una is well on her way to becoming a teenager and Paris, well, she has a couple more skills. She needs to get more movement and more potty and then she will become a child. So I think these two are going to grow up really quickly now that I have them past the annoying infant stage. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.